Hello, um, today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on making a spaceship and how to do some curves um, and make stuff around it. So first off I'm going to start by um, changing the properties outline uh, window to uh, the UV imaging layout. Then I'm going to hit N to add the new dock and I'm going to remove the dock to the far left to give me more space. Um, just drag and drop an image in real quick and I'm going to use this for concept art to work from. Um, I'm just going to start by adding a plane. Uh, I'm going to go into edit mode, um, control R to um, add an edge loop, cut the plane in half. I just recently downloaded Blender 2.56 which has some few changes. Um, they switched around the buttons that select vertices or edges or faces. Um, the main select button instead of right click is now left click. Um, but left click is also what moves around if you're clicking on the arrows for the um, I guess the arrow tool to slide vertices and so now if you have a vertice near another vertice and there's an arrow covering it you can't select the vertice so it is a bit of a hassle um, once you start using it you might understand what I mean if you don't understand now anyways I'm going to add the uh, now that the mirror modifier is on I'm going to uh, remove the vertices until I have one or two and then I'm just going to move them and start building the basic shape of the ship so I'm just hitting E to extrude the vertice and then um, moving it and to get the shape that I want for the base of the hull. Um, as you notice, um, when I was moving it, um, I'm not sure how, but it started to go off in a different direction. So I'm just hitting S and then Z to size it on the Z axis. So hitting S, Z, and then moving your mouse will size it on a scale um, an axis, and it'll bring it all together. Depending on how you have it set up, though, it could be a different axis. You'll just have to experiment and find out which one. So I'm just going to continue through and I skipped ahead a bit and uh, I'm just moving on and just continuing to add to the shape. I'm only going to do the front portion of the ship, um, I'm not going to go too far, I'm just, it's just a general um, tutorial. Um, so you can extrude and you can build a lot of your curves just by um, having your vertices, their placement um, curve a bit. So now I just did a quick size on the z-axis to make sure all the vertices are on a straight, um, on the same level, same. So now um, I'm hitting Alt and then the select button in edge mode and it's going to select the entire edge loop there. And then I'm hitting E to extrude and then S to size in. And it doesn't size in uniformly, so I'm just going to slide it around a bit and then size on the y-axis. Um, and just move it around until it looks it looks okay, and, and so that it's so that it doesn't get too um, pinched together. The the vertices um, they start to curve in around where the the um, shape is, and so I don't want that. So I'm sizing on the y-axis. I'm moving it up a bit. I'm getting a rounded shape now to the front of the ship. So I'm sizing it again, moving it in, uh, sizing out on the y-axis, just to try to keep the edge loops, um, just just so that they don't all pinch together. So it starts, it stays clean, like those there, the edge loops.
So I'm just going to continue to move the shape. Um, try to avoid pulling each vertice individually as you'll get a, a ununiform shape after a while. Um, it won't be quite as um, smooth or together. Um, one vertice might be too high to one side or too far and they don't line up right after a while. But in the middle, I'm just moving it on the one axis, so I was just trying to make so the edge loops line up a bit better. And right there, right away, we have a problem with shading, um, and that's in the way the face is facing. So you just go uh, select the faces that are the wrong way, hit W, hit flip normals, or you can hit A to select all, and then hit Control N, and it'll recalculate the normals to the outside. But if recalculating to the outside doesn't work, you just um, have to go and select each face that isn't recalculating properly individually and hit flip normal. And that should fix um, any shading problems and eventually when you go to apply a texture, it will make it so that the texture appears on the right side. So I am trying to avoid moving vertices individually. Um, that's why I'm trying to move them as groups so they stay quite uniform and, and I'm, I'm just moving them to um, keep the edge loops quite um, clean, straight, so they add to the shape. And I have added a shade smooth by selecting all and hitting W and then selecting shade smooth. I have um, created uh, a smoothness to the object. And so right there I've added a triangle. Um, this is one way to add detail. Um, you don't have to use a triangle, you could use squares. But just to select um, the faces you want to add detail to, and then hit E to extrude. You can extrude them in, you can create you know, um, different shapes, extrude them out. Um, in this case, I extruded them in a bit, and it started to look weird. Um, so I at went to modifiers and added an edge split which means that anything over 90 degrees will um, appear, or no, um, the edge split is defaulted at 30 degrees, so that means anything over 30 degrees will appear um, as a straight edge. So um, it will appear, you know, blocky or, or um, like that, but anything under will appear smooth um, or rounded. So all I've done now is I'm just extruding, and uh, remember to save, um, find somewhere to um, save your work and where you can find it again, and save often, um, in case your computer crashes, in case the power goes out, who knows, um, Blender could just crash on its own, unrelated to anything else, and it's a hassle to have to start over and redo all your work. So I'm just extruding and sizing um, on the different axes. I've also um, I've selected all on top and I'm going to extrude and that's going to give me a little bit of a lip from where um, it goes around. And I started to add detail towards the bottom. Um, I'm just matching it on the top so it looks quite the same, kind of like the concept. Just sizing it in and sizing on the Z axis to size it and make it a little bit um, taller. And as you notice, some of the faces are looking um, blocky or like they're not smooth. That's because as you extrude and add new faces, you're going to need to reapply the shade smooth. So you're going to need to select all and then add shade smooth, and it'll add to those faces. As you can see, the faces there, they aren't smooth. That's because the angle is more than 30 degrees and so they will not appear smooth until the angle is less than because of the edge split, edge split modifier. So anyways, I'm just going to start um, adding to the bottom of the ship and I would do that about the same way as I worked on the top of the ship. I'm just going to extrude sizing um, and just fit it that way. And then you can get the basic shape of your ship and you can start adding edge loop and cutting in detail later.
Alright, so um, one thing you can add, um, if you want to add some sharp edges to your smooth object, you can hit W or Control E and hit um, with the edges select and hit mark sharp.